not too much I can say about this piece so it will probably be a very short voiceover so to begin with there will be a part where I don't know what happened I don't know if I deleted the clip but I actually just start coloring in her hair and the next frame it's fully colored and the whole process is like gone so I filmed a little clip and inserted that where I basically just quickly show how I went about to color her hair so yeah like on a scrap piece of paper and I inserted that so that you know how I colored in her hair so yeah I'm sorry about that but well I can't do anything about it now because I film with my phone and I have to like paint or draw and then transfer the clips onto my computer and like cancel them on my phone then continue recording transfer them to my computer yada yada so I think I might have deleted it instead of trans before transferring it. I think maybe I thought that I had just transferred them because usually I transfer them all and then I just try to transfer them again and my computer says me like oh you already transferred this clip and if I missed one clip it will just transfer without telling, giving me like a notification about whether I did or did not transfer the clip earlier so I usually try to transfer them like two times which is impossible so I will get the notification that I actually did transfer every clip but now and then I sometimes just miss one and this was like uh, like usually I forget to transfer clips when they look like pretty much the same Like sometimes when I'm like coloring her skin and then I pause because I have to, I don't know, answer my phone or do anything and then I have to like pause and then when I come back and continue drawing like skin or something I continue recording and sometimes I keep pausing and recording like quite a bit if I have to do something at the same time like multitasking <laughs> and yeah that's not like a major bummer I think like if I start coloring her face like I don't know her nose and then I forget to film the clip where I color her cheeks but then I have me coloring the chin again while the cheeks are already colored. I don't think that this is like too much of a bummer because it's basically just the same thing over and over again. I actually think it's okay to do that. Sometimes I even cut pieces like that out if the video would turn out too long. But like, it's not that I started coloring her hair and then like deleted a clip in the middle and then have me colored in like the last pieces of her hair and that would be it. Like that would be okay but I like started with the light purple then my phone was full and I transferred the clips and I started recording again but I don't know if I went to bed after that and in the morning I thought I had transferred it or something like that I don't know but yeah like when I was editing it I was like where's the video 
where is the clip and I was searching everywhere because sometimes I want to put them in a folder and then accidentally my mouse clicks on the folder underneath it and then I have to go in that folder and like push them into another folder and sometimes I miss a clip but I usually find it when I'm searching it and this time I looked in every folder I could have possibly put it accidentally and it was nowhere so I probably deleted it so yeah I'm sorry about that but please forgive me and well the rest is basically yeah pretty simple stuff the coloring for her skin like the way I colored it with blues and neutral grays was not actually quite my idea. I was inspired to do this kind of color scheme for her skin from the vampire <laughs> that Bailey J did. I will link her channel down below and I love watching her videos. And I really really liked how she colored in her vampire girl and yeah. I tried to kind of mimic that a bit and then for the rest of the drawing I wanted to mainly stick with purple and blue like I didn't want to have too many colors going on so I have like the sapphire in blue like obviously otherwise it wouldn't be a sapphire but yeah then the corset is supposed to be like velvety kind of fabric and it's supposed to be really dark like black or really dark gray with like a hint of blue. It's not supposed to have like blue ornaments on it. It's just supposed to have like a touch of blue in it. And yeah, then the hair and lips in purple and the eyes are supposed to go with the sapphire. So I try to use the same colors I used there in the eyes, but obviously the eyes are so small in the picture overall that you can't really like tell which colors exactly are in the eyes that would probably only be possible to see if you have a close-up so yeah that's basically all I can say and yeah enjoy watching <laughs> 